Welcome back everyone. In this video, you will see a long awaited floor renovation that we're doing to our upstairs floors. And you guys, you will also see how big the chickens have grown. So come along and spend the day with us. I would like to say a quick prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray we all repent of our transgression of sin against you. You are holy, you are merciful, and forgiving. I pray we all repent, Lord Jesus, and I thank you for letting us worship you in spirit and in truth. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for being our Savior. Amen. Amen. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. You guys, we are redoing uh the floor not the floor in this room just cleaned up a little in there but we are removing the carpet and the floor in here not sure if we're going to put carpet back down but this is our five-year mark this carpet is really really dirty um we have cleaned it several times but it's time to take it up so we're going to remove the carpet on the stairs this hallway and also over here in the uh, gym area, the carpet coming out. So, carpet is coming out. Say hello, everyone. Tell everyone hello, Maxie Poo. Poo, say hello to everyone. <laughs> We're headed to uh, floor and decor to get some flooring so we can start on the floor. Right, sweetie pie? Right, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's another one of our DIY projects. All right, well, you guys, we're at Floor and Decor, and we're gonna look at some laminate wood flooring that's waterproof, so we can do our upstairs lounge. We're gonna convert it, make it a gym area, and we're gonna be doing the hallways upstairs. The bedrooms are already done with wood floors, so now we're gonna try the uh, laminate wood floors in the lounge. We're going to floor and decor. There's my sweetie. <laughs> Had to tell him all that because he gonna be doing the floor and decor work. Let's see. Okay, we got we have some different uh laminate woods here. You guys, we're also looking at underlayment to go under the uh, wood, and we're also going to probably purchase wood with underlayment on, under it already, just to give it a little more cushion upstairs. So, so we're going to purchase some wood and some underlayment, and we're going to head home after this, y'all. Wow, you guys, they even have towel look like the laminate. This is tile. Is it tile? Yeah, that's tile. It looked like the laminate. Wow. That's nice. That's nice. So, 
Get us some flooring. Alright guys, we're going to take a look at all this beautiful flooring. It's nice, nice flooring. Ooh. They have different colors. The uh, wood flooring, they have different colors. Oh wow. I'm looking more for a darker wood. A wood like this color. I love this wood. I love this color. Wow, this is a, a Arden Oak. That Arden Oak is beautiful. Yeah, and then they have some uh, lighter colors. What color are we gonna go with a darker? You want that type dark, babe, or you like dark, dark like that? They also have like a honey oak color wood, like over here. Now that look good. That wood floor look. Okay right we'll yes, thank you. Now this floor looks really, really good. Wow. It's so natural. It even have like the designs in it. Oh, that's nice. All right, we'll get some more underlayment we got the underlayment you guys we're headed home we have the wood and the underlayment i want to show you guys how big the chickens have grown you guys we had to stop before uh we do anything with the floor we have to go and find a pool part and we also ordered a drum so quick little break while we uh research this part and we'll show y'all how big the chickens are and then we'll get back to the flooring guys it has been raining non-stop our uh pool container you got a crack in it oh my god that was the worst thing you guys we spent a lot of money buying just the bottom part of the container also you guys we lost one of our chickens panther got a hold of it and um she killed it y'all she killed it she killed it so look how big the chickens got here chick 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 here chicky here chick chick see how big he is hey sweetheart hey, what you doing putting that new drum on putting a new pool drum on yeah you guys look how big the chickens are i think this the rooster he is huge get down here so y'all can see blanca are you hiding here blanca come here blanca come out so you can see everybody roadie turn around so everybody can see you say hello roadie that's Rody the Rooster. He'll be going to his new home soon. And look at the chickens, y'all. Look how big they got. Wow. They are huge. Hey, girls. Salt. Come here, Salt. Come say hi. Come here, Salt. Come here, Salt. We haven't gave. We lost one of the brown girls. We haven't gave them any names yet. They are huge, y'all. I put uh, before picture up how little they were. Now they're huge. But look at Pepper. That one's there. It's called Pepper. Where'd you go, Salt? Yep, they are huge. Where'd you go, Salt? I don't know. They're hiding. But anyway, we bought some more of this to uh ah. Uh, heavy y'all to line uh it's the pine shavings that what that's what we use in the chicken coop to keep it clean and line it out and every three to four months we'll change but that's what we're going to be uh changing out with the pine shavings so let's go over here and see what my honey is doing 
it's been raining a lot here y'all <gasps> look at this oh wow look at the okra huge look at that okra Ooh, may eat you tonight wow look how big that okra is that was the flower that it came from at the end but look at that that is nice this is the new pintar drum my husband is replacing he always does do a mighty fine job we didn't have to replace the top or anything like that um we just had to place the drum canister part get a new one of these it's a it's a top that fits right up there that's been broke but I need one. Clean what, my filters now. What did it look like? It's straight. I have to look online and see. It was something that always went up there. What does it I'm going to look, look like? in my shed. I think I saw something in my eyesight one day that might fit Could that. Could that be one at the bottom? No, that's the, uh, that was ran to that thing there. Oh. That salt water thing. These are the filters. This is the old cool drum. He tried to patch it right there, but it didn't work. It busted. And if you guys ever change out one of these, y'all know they're extremely expensive. But yeah. Probably saved that thing in yeah, the bottom. Yeah. I'm gonna take everything I can out of it. Yep, and see he had to patch it in the inside. I was trying to stop that leak when I put that up there. Oh, that thing was coming. Leak was crackles up under this thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll let you get back to work, honey. Let me get over here, babe, so I can wash these filters off. Let you get back to work. You guys, it's another okra coming. Look at this leaf. Look at here, the baby okras. He's cleaning the filters there. See how the garden is doing? Everything grown from seed is just making its way. See you guys later. Yeah. Max Poo, there's Maxi Poo.
Let me come back. Well, honey, I'm going to let you continue to work. She has a lot to do. Open up this carpet. Maxi Poo. What are you doing, Maxi Poo? What are you doing? You want to say hi to you, too? You chilling with Dad? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna sand the stairs. We're taking the black off. Yep. Here's the name, Barnwood. That's the design. Looking like. Y'all, it's six pieces in a box, and this is what I was talking about. See, it has uh, an underlayment already on it, and see how thick it is? Look how thick the wood is. This is thick. So it's good for heavy traffic areas, and we're going to be using it upstairs where we have our lounge, which we are uh, have our gym equipment up there. And also, um, my husband going to probably do the stairs with it. But we got the hallways upstairs. We have both of the hallways upstairs. And the lounge area, which is, uh, I think it's 12 by 13. So, yeah. This is what we're going to be using. Nice wood, y'all. This is nice. And I like it because it has, like, if you could see real close, it looks like wood. It have the wood grain in it. You know, so that's what I like about it. Look at the wood grain. It looks like real wood, y'all. Isn't that pretty? So, yeah. We have uh, 16 boxes of this laminate wood. So, we're going to be putting it down. And this is really nice. And we have the underlayment and the vapor barrier. And it's also going to uh, help with the sound because it already have uh, underlayment under the wood itself. Guys, and it's uh, spill proof. It's um, waterproof. You got spill protection for 24 hours. And this is some very, very good um, laminate flooring. And we're going to put all this upstairs. Yep. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle lot, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway Ain't anything going obtained Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go,
some batter in your brain uh, That's why to say, fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game, then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst stuff, say, and turn them to a game He is doing an amazing job, you guys. Every time I see him work, I am just so amazed at the things that he know how to do. But y'all, he is doing a wonderful job. The floor is looking good, you guys. Hey, I am just hey, so proud of him. You doing a mighty fine job, sweetie. Let me get over here and go see all you have done. Floor looking magnificently. You did a good job, baby. It's looking good. Got your cord around. Don't put all that down. Everything looking good. All looking good. Floor's looking magnificent. I love this floor. I love this wood floor. So yeah. Hey y'all. Panther. Yeah, you guys don't call the lizard. Oh Lord, Panther, leave that lizard alone. Panther. Mm -mm -mm. They got a little lizard, y'all. Fighting over the lizard. Woo. It's looking good, baby. All right, you guys, he is doing his handiwork. He is working on the stairs. What you doing, Panther Girl? Say hello. Say hello, you too. Y'all, Panther's got so big. See, we took remove the carpet, and now he is uh, taking all these tacks out, and he sanded two, three of the bottom stairs. So just kind of show y'all, give y'all an overview. Hey, Maxi Poo, what you doing, boy? Kind of give you guys an overview of what he doing. He's sanding, he sanded these three other stairs, so uh, he's working on those. And this is what the stair is looking like. It has a lot of like uh, uh, the staplers right and the other side of the nail. And see all these? He's pulling them out. They was in here, so he's going step by step to pull it out. So yep, he's working on the stairs. They're looking good. He's gonna have them looking real good. And he's finished this part of the floor. He just had to put the uh, the shoe molding or the court around around the baseboards and everything. Finished the hall. Did all this. So he just got to put the uh, shoe molding around it, and then he'll be finished with this part. And he got some more work to do up here. Like where the doors, cut some more wood where the doors are. Like right there and then put the trim around. And then he's going to finish the stairs. But we're going tomorrow to get some more supplies. And see these are the wood pieces that he bought to go at, like at the doors. And this is some of the, the uh, trim molding here. So yep, yeah, he's got to put the trim molding around and he's finished this room other than putting the molding around. So he's got to do that part. But for the most part, everything looks good. 
He's gonna put some Maxi Poo, you all in the video. He's gonna put some uh shoe molding around right here, you know, like uh up against the wall. So it'll be like this in the whole area. So yep. And that's what he's doing. He is working on the stairs. He's doing a mighty fine job. Max, y'all come out of here. Come on, sweetie. Y'all come on out. Come on out, Max. Come on out, Panther. Come on, you two. Y'all not loud over there. You guys, I am going to make some turkey egg rolls today. This is one of my husband's favorite dishes, and it's a lot healthy for you, the turkey is, instead of the pork. So what I'm doing, I'm just putting a little uh, olive oil over in my pan, and I am going to uh, brown this turkey, ground turkey meat that I have. And you guys, you don't necessarily need a lot of seasoning. I'm also uh, preparing the shredded carrots, and we're going to have a uh, shredded cabbage because I am making turkey egg rolls. So um, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and uh, shred your carrot and go ahead and uh, shred your uh, cabbage. Now, you can buy it already mixed if you choose to. And I am using uh, egg roll wrappers because after we prepare the meat, and we prepare the filling to go inside the egg rose wrappers. Then I am going to uh, deep fry them in some coconut oil. And you guys, they are amazing. You can serve this type of stuff. Um, I'm just making it for our lunch today. But you can serve this anytime. You can serve it as an appetizer or uh, you can serve it as a quick meal with the salad. And th like I said, this is one of his favorite. And I'm using just a plain egg roll wrapper. And this is the turkey meat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water to it, a little bit of water to it, you know, because turkey meat is dry. I don't want to put any more oil other than this sesame seed oil. That's what I'm using, like a, a tablespoon of sesame seed oil. And I'm going to mix it around. I'm going to add a little water to it. And then I am going to cover it. And I am going to let it simmer for 15, 20 minutes on medium high heat. And um, just break up the turkey as fine as you can get it because it is ground turkey. You know, when you cook it, it clumps a little bit because you want everything to be broken down and really, really mix well in your egg rolls. So let it cook for about 15, 20 minutes. Now it has been cooking for 15 20 minutes and what we're going to do is just stir fry it a little bit and i am going to um add some soy sauce this is the soy sauce and we're going to stir fry it and get that going a little bit more so all the liquids can be absorbed once all the liquid is absorbed i am going to use this horsin sauce now i am going to use two tablespoons of this horsin sauce but you can use uh, two to three tablespoons. It's up to you and your taste. So this give it that real Asian, authentic flavor, you guys. These egg rolls are so good. And they're easy to make. And it's also quick. You can make this really, really quick, you know, if you want to have it as an appetizer or a meal. And... You can either buy the yum yum sauce for the dipping of these uh, turkey egg rolls, and you can um, you can dip the turkey egg rolls in that, or you can make a a, a wasabi sauce. Now this is how I make the egg rolls. What I do is I put the filling inside. So we're gonna add a little of the shredded cabbage and carrot. And then we're going to add the meat and we're going to fold it over just like you uh, fold an envelope. And we're going to do this until they're all done. See, very easy to make. And this is what it looks like.
you guys if you made it this far in the video i'm adding a little water just to uh seal the edges of the turkey egg rolls and then we just getting them ready to deep fry and i'm gonna deep fry them on medium high heat and some coconut oil you guys if y'all made it this far in the video we will greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe to our channel this will help the algorithm and it'll also help us help us grow and we thank y'all for watching and see how these wonderful egg rolls turn out